play your own. <laughs> you know, just sitting and just sitting. That's all right. Uh, yeah, I hope this episode. So, uh, yeah, first first video, guys. This is a quick introduction in, introduction to Raymond. So my spec, what it does, where we're going, and just mention the launch. Okay, so first of all, see, this is Raymond. How you all doing? He'll give you a quick background of his background on cars, how we got to where we are now, and about the launch, and we'll both explain how the app works itself. So uh, over to you, Raymond. Right, so in the beginning, I'm originally from London. So growing up in, um, in Tottenham, cars were a big thing, motorbikes and what have you. Sound was pretty good then, but not so much modifications on the engine side. So I couldn't wait till I could drive, obviously. Start with the sound systems, getting a bit deaf. And then we went on to, as it got, got a bit more funding, hence the jobs, we started to go a bit further afield and start making the, you know, your rides a bit quicker, modifying them, uh, aesthetics, making the car look nice. And yeah, I thought to myself, well, where can we get all these sort of things on one platform? And so uh, 2005, I came up with R-Spec, which is R, which is myself, which is Raymond, and the spec of whatever I do. So launched a, a website, and obviously the internet wasn't the best then, so there was no coverage. Later on the line, so we started to go into a, a wide range of um, vehicles now, from your surfboards all the way to your Learjets, your trucks in between that, and you know, electric scooters, your quads, your speedboats, your muscle cars, your supercars, you name it. Whatever you can modify, customize, we need a platform that you can put that all on and you can show them off to the world. So then I came up with my spec, and that was a few years in the making. And I met Rob about a couple of years ago, and we sat down and we spoke and we started to um, get this app built. And this is 2023 now. <laughs> so it takes time, you know, I'm a working man. Uh, you know, I do my nine to five and try to fit in everything in between there, but it is hard. But um, slowly but surely, we're in uh, testing mode now, um, getting a lot of people on, on the app just to help and, you know, find our little niggly bits here and there as you do. And, uh, that's it so far. We say testing mode, we're now to the point of we are 99.99% .99 there. So that means the app is working. We're just getting our better halves and people we know to check our grammar and spelling. Obviously, <laughs> Raymond from London, I'm from Luton. So let's just say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's enough, that's enough to know that one, okay? So, but we're looking at launching in the next few weeks. Okay, we're getting out there. And what the idea of this video is to give you a quick overview of how the app works, okay? What you can do and how you can really showcase your vehicle. At the moment, what you find is Raymond goes to a lot of shows, okay? I'm still new to this, so I'm, so I'm, I'm, I'm learning. And what I've realized is, and Raymond's realized this, is that you spend all this time, all this effort, you put all this love into your vehicle, and then once a month, you, show, you go out and show it to people. The idea now is you can show it all day, every day, all year, not just to somebody in Cambridge or in Derby, okay, but worldwide. It's a platform to show everything and anything, whether it's your favorite bike, your speedboat, your helicopter. These are all vehicles, and to us, some of these vehicles are amazing and need to be shown more, okay? So the problem with the app is this. You open the app, okay, the first thing you see is a map, and it shows you around you, and it will show you all the vehicles around you, okay? You can then go to categories of manufacturer, and then car type, okay? That's, that's the first thing. So I can go and check for any car, anywhere, see what it's about, I can see the, 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 the car, I can see the pictures, I can see the videos, okay? That's one side of it, okay? The second side of it is, there's also voting. So each month you'll find top three cars, top three bikes, top three boats, okay? And you, and you can then, you, you, you can search for your own category, your own car, see where your car is to other people in the world, okay? To see, to see not just what you think of your vehicle, what do we think of your vehicle as a group? Okay, I think that's, that's the key. And that's where Raymond will come into it, because obviously um, Raymond's background at the moment is composites. Right, so you nearly got it right. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, obviously love for my car. When I first moved to Cambridge, I was in aerospace for about 17 and a half years and went straight to motorsport. So I've been building parts um, for F1 cars, hypercars, 
LMPs, you name it, all the high-end race cars. And obviously I've got love for cars myself. So it's, it's brilliant being in that sort of um, industry. So you get to see how these things are built. But yeah, um, that's my love. And Rob's more into the bikes, funny enough. Yeah, I did say to Raymond, I said, mate, this is behind us, you'll see two vehicles, okay? This is Raymond's day car, okay? This is my car car, okay? <laughs> I have one. Uh, Raymond's other car is a very nice McLaren... 570S. Yes, okay. And if you go to the website, you'll see a nice picture of it of him sitting beside it at a show we did the other week in St. Neots, okay? So Raymond really does like his cars, where me, I'm still learning about cars. Give me a motorcycle. <laughs> Okay, you know, red light in it, lovely. Okay, I would say wind in my hair, but as you see, it's not quite as long <laughs> as it used to have been. So uh, it's more wind on my on my scalp. But again, the idea is, you know, it, it doesn't matter what it is. Okay, you know, we all we all love something. You know, I'm sure I was saying to Rainier the other day. I can recall when I was younger watching tractor pulling. Yeah, on I Channel Four. Them. Okay, Crazy. it was huge. These yeah. tractors are like. Uh, Eight Spitfire engines yeah, attached to a frame and stuff. Big jet engine <laughs> in there, and this, you know, you know, you know, these, you know, there's out there. There's amazing things to see. It's just right now, there's nowhere for them. Okay, so the idea is you can go to the app, you can find any vehicle, hopefully in the world you want. You can add your own vehicle. Okay, there's a voting system, but on top of that as well, we're also going to have a section for events. So any event in the world will be inside this eventually. Okay. The first version of the event is very simple. It just shows you the location. In the future, we'll do it by date as well. So you can actually check dates and see where you're going. If you're going to be somewhere, don't tell your wife that this car shows on. You can always stick off for the afternoon. So yeah, I think that's that's a general idea. Okay. So so you know, yeah, uh, I think uh, Raymond will be going out a lot and talking to people. Okay. You know, we want you guys really on board because you know it's it's what you love. You know, and if you can go and see 150. Mark one escorts around the world in the same at the same list at the same time, and you love escorts. What is better than that? The thing is, like you're saying, I travel. My second passion, I don't have a second. Like this, you got like automobiles and myself, but I travel a lot and I love traveling. And going around the world, you do realize the amount of interest there are in customized everything from Asia to the Caribbean, all the way down to New Zealand. There is people out there that actually. We wouldn't know that in the UK unless you're actually looking for that. You wouldn't even know. So this platform allows people from, you know, as far around this globe as possible to get on there and we can start seeing what other people are doing because like, there's even makes and models we would never ever see in the UK. They're out there and people are customising them. Like I said all the way from jet skis on these little islands all the way down to your personal uh, tribal boats. I've seen some of those guys make them into racing boats and it's nuts. I mean, out in the middle of nowhere racing these boats. and. They've only got to stick them on the platform and people start, oh right, you know, they're out there. Just this platform will hopefully get people drawn in and start showing off their customization. I've got one thing. You don't just add photographs, you can also add videos as well into the system, you know. So the idea that one of Raven's idea for the future is once you've got enough videos inside it, we'll have a separate section called videos, we can go on and you can look at all the videos or random videos, or you can go and check the videos for your, you know, what, what you know, whatever you like best. There'll be videos of all these vehicles out there as well. I mean, we had uh, one of our first, I think, users of the app is a guy called, he's called himself Mad Mario, garage up in Peterborough. We noticed his car ourselves at uh, a show in St. Neitz. It Let's just say, out of all the cars there, it definitely stood out. Yep. Okay, I mean, one of these cars where if you saw it once, you'll never forget it and stuff, you know. We went, went to see him, and the, the, these are, they, are, they run a garage fixing cars, but their first love is cars themselves okay the car if, if they if they weren't fixing cars that that to them is not relevant okay that is a means to earn money to build their own cars yeah and do things okay and it's people like that who we you know we know you're out there i mean take me for instance i'm a vehicle person i'm an engineer and i was taking my wife to edinburgh the other year and we sit at the train station impulse this train into the station this train must have been i know it was it was 194 meters long so because obviously i looked it up i said to my wife Think of the engineering behind this train, and she said, "Quote boring." <laughs> to me, it's interesting because it's got to think, you know, how much effort to build a 200 meter long vehicle that yep. does that does 125 miles an hour, okay, in, in in comfort. You know, when you see a marine engine, I mean, when you can when you can go to an engine and stand in the barrel, you know, we're talking these. There is some amazing vehicles out there in the world, okay, and I think with your help and our input. 
I think we can make sure that if it's out there, it'll be in the app. Definitely, and that, that's the aim. It's also got the um, the chat uh, room there as well. So for argument's sake, if you had someone with a motorbike and had a certain exhaust in it, or you know it was de-restricted a certain way, and you spotted someone in the States, you could hit them up on the actual app and ask them, you know, they'll be, it's basically one big community to help each other out as well. It's not just um, for showing off, it, you know, it's like-minded people all around the world. Now, one of the things we're gonna be doing is this. Now, my knowledge of cars is limited, as I said to Raymond. Now, brake horse power, yes. Petrol, yes. Oil goes here, water goes there. That's my view of cars, okay? Motorcycles, though, a bit different. So what we're gonna do is exercise is, behind here we've got my little mini, okay? Which at the moment is, wait for this, I've got it written down for you guys. I know now it's 170 brake horsepower and it's 210 newton meters. Now, personally, I've always seen the new the newton meter thing. I just thought it was just a number there for to go to the BHP, which Raymond said, no, Rob, it's, it's something different. So the idea is, it's not just about, we call the hardcore modders. It's about anybody who wants to show their car or learn how to basically mod their car. We're gonna basically take my little car here. We're not gonna turn it into a racing car, but we're gonna look at ways where on a budget, you can increase brake horsepower, newton meters, fix things like the trim, fix the lights. There's things that, 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 need, need, that he's doing to that I can do myself. There's things I can't do, but if we go to the right places, we can do it on a budget. So over, so over the next year, you'll see this more from 100, my goal is initially, we go from 170 brake horsepower to 200. I think that'd be fine for now, okay? Um, I will try not to get carried away. <laughs> that is the goal. That. And not also, not to spend too much money. What I have noticed is, once you start these things, you do yeah. tend to get carried away. You know, without a doubt. I mean, I, I, mean, I know this, I've got Raymond's seen two of some of my friends. One of my friends at the moment is working on six separate cars. Six. I thought, how can you, one's hard enough, and he's got, he's got six of them, you know. One of my friends, just, he's just got this Volkswagen he's been working on, you know, and stuff. And they, and they, and they it's, it's a labor of love. It is, it is. And you've got a passion with all, any of these, with, to be for anything you're customizing in the world, even if it's your own body with tattoos and stuff like that. You know, you can have passion. You want it to come out right. And um, like I said, keep saying it, this is my spec, and that's why the platform's there for you to actually showcase your, your more or less your work of art to be fair to like-minded people and remember if you've got any questions any suggestions mm -hmm. anything you think we should see at the moment the way it works is this at the moment we've, we've, we've got certain headings okay they're, they're fixed okay but if you say to us look I want to add speedboats all we've got to do is add the main header so we've added the word speedboat then you can go to the app yourself and you can add the manufacturer and the and what it is yourself inside the app so if a category if a category is missing or your fiddle is missing, okay, you can, you can add that yourself because we realised we're going to miss some. In fact, we, we, in fact, we missed quite a lot, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> that thing as well, no, it's a lot of my mates, uh, they've got cars, bikes, boats. So there's an option for you to put multiple vehicles on there as well. So don't ever think that you can only just put your bike yeah, on or yeah, whatever. Yeah, like, right. yeah, once yeah. you've added your first vehicle, then your button, it was like add more vehicles and you can add all the vehicles you want onto it. You know, because I'm assuming that like, Raymond's right. Most people have got a car, will have a bike, or a second car, yeah. or, or they might have a race car. Um, exactly, exactly. You know, or, or you know, you know it, it, there is, it is, it's, it's anything, okay, you know. So, we'll be launching imminently, okay, getting out of there. Oh, forgot one thing, sorry. In the future, there will be competitions. I'll let Raymond right. explain what they'll be. Right, so, first of all, it's a go to the voting system. So for argument's sake, everyone voted on my car or majority of the users. So I'll then get back down to, uh, to the user. And in your, in your area, you'd obviously have somebody who's doing uh, either wheels, body kit, paint job, wrap. So then we'll then basically send you down to your local customizer with X amount of funding and tell you to go and get, get what you want. Or there might be a set of wheels on offer. You know, they're not gonna be like your average back in the day, rip speed wheels with like 200, you know, there'll be quite snazzy um, uh, prizes to be fair. And that, like I said, it's only going on the app and getting bolted. So the more work you put in, the more you're gonna get out of it. I'm just waiting for the stage five supercharger for my mini competition.
and you laugh, but that might even that might happen. You know, that's why I'm not laughing because that's probably a serious thing. <laughs> it is, guys. Yeah. So look, it's all. Remember this. It's about having fun, okay? Having cars is fun, you know, showing off is fun, okay? And it's a community of people where, as you see Raymond and myself, it's all about having fun, you know? It's not about, we're not, no one's gonna go out here and say, they don't like your cars. You know, there's gonna be envy. Everyone's envious oh, about God. a nice car, you know, that's yeah. the way it is, okay? But it's not horrible envy. It's normally, I wish I had one envy, but I'm gonna be nasty anyway, because yeah, but no, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, you know, it's, it is about seeing nice vehicles and stuff, and nice paintworks, mad stereo system ones to make your ears bleed you know we're talking about you know um there's gonna be people there'll be people like me who don't do too much and they're gonna get people like my friends that go sometimes i would say i was just say way 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 too far um and yeah but you know there's us us and us we're all the same there's just different levels of us yep all got the same same goal in our head build something that you can love so remember my spec coming to a phone near you soon. Cheers, Thanks guys.